Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Jackson. That's complete to John Ross. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him six there, but now it's third. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam. Ground at the 37. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. First and ten at the 37 yard line. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, it's Jackson. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. the half a reminder we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman he'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend on second down and four Jackson firing quickly here and that's complete and this one's going to go the wrong way losing here's Jackson to throw and an alley to run Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Jackson. Going to throw again. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. The Jets on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. Mike 20, Mike 20. Ready? Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Jackson. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, these two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. This will be fielded at the 8th. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for him. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. 
Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a gain that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Flush to his right. And that will be incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Now Jackson flushed out right. Well, this is caught by Jackson. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Falcons grab it. Still on his feet. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they're not able to convert on fourth down. So they tried it. Not only did they not get the first, they fumbled it away. Yeah, it's one of those things where it went from bad to worse. But I know that everyone's going to pile in on the call and say, well, what are you doing? Why would you go for it there? I think that teams that are convinced that they feel pretty good about their game plan, what they want to get done that day, go for it. Give it a try. He's got the lane, and there he goes. The 30, 10, 5, touchdown, Falcons. Saquon Barkley taking it in. And the Falcons push further out in front. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, second half, no matter what. Well, this first five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. We all know the teams never want to use the word panic. But if they expect to win this game, it has to start right here, right now. That return just set them up for points, and it needs to be a touchdown, not a field goal. Jackson, option right. And that behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the carry, it's Jackson. Down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. Check, 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 point three. Check. Hustle, hustle. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. Going right side here, and that's complete. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard, and it's second down. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On second and 12, Jackson escaping the pressure right. And he can't hang on. He had a good shot there for his third pick of the game. Instead, it's third down. 
I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game, and I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they've missed a golden opportunity. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. They'll start out here with the option left. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Barkley. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. From the gun on third down, Murray. And a loose football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. Watch left, watch left, watch left. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. First down, and they'll try to run the option left. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Falcons. Kyler Murray. 76 yards, and the Falcons push further out in front. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback, the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A big play there. 78 yards. And the Jets are able to cut into this deficit. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. What a happy face. Throwing on first down is Murray. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Murray going to throw. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Daniil Hunter in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Throwing now is Murray. Rolling to his right. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A very well-executed play. It goes for 29 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And he'll go down, but not before. 
before getting this inside the 30. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. On third down, here's an option play left. Oh, now Murray has it stripped. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. Now Saquon Barkley going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. Saquon Barkley denied to get the football back. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have. All the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Jackson, options out left. And nothing but daylight ahead. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Jets are able to close the gap just a bit. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that will shave one more off this lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. What was once a really comfortable lead is not so comfortable anymore. Down to a two-score game after they've seen a pair of touchdowns go against them on those last two drives. Yeah, they've got to find a way to get off of autopilot right now, okay? Get back to what was working for them earlier. Understand that they still have a two-score lead, so it's not dire, but at the same time, okay, guys, let's match the gas. Let's get going again. Let's have some fun. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. First down, Murray. Forced out to his left. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Murray again, second and 10. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 35. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Now Murray. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Falcons push further out in front. I know these wide
The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Joseph now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better. Yeah. A big play there on the catch and run. 69 yards. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up seven. And it's a touchdown for the Jets. Lamar Jackson, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Jets are able to cut into this deficit. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Murray with a nice move. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Now this time, Murray to throw it. Open man right side is his running back. It's complete downfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second. Now this time he'll look to throw. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Play fake. Murray. 
He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Here's Murray. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. And he's going to go down as time has now run out on this game. And it's over. The Lombardi Trophy belongs to the Falcons. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports. Now let's take a minute to see how you can improve your team.
I came to win. Oh, they asking my name, huh? You ready? S T R O. I ain't come to play with you. Yeah. Life challenging, but I wouldn't trade I wouldn't with you. Trade. It's early, I'm up. Yeah. I can't spend the day with you. I'm out of my business. Uh. I ain't getting paid with you. No, I come to bright. Yeah. I ain't finna play with you. Man, I gotta come clean like I'm made with clean. you. I've been on my everybody drop when, when I, I drop. Yeah. Make it shorty, uh. she support uh. bra. Lifting up. Never not on my grind. New York City time. Another brother better, you will never find. Uh. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Yeah, yeah, uh. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, never tired. You will never know, you ain't never try. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hey, yeah, yeah, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard, on the job, you can see that. All my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the uh-huh. balloons. What I do, lace up the shoes, chase W's. Now what I do, lace up the shoes, chase W's. Leave it beats, leave it in the streets. Case on the news. What I do, lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two. MVP the least, most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. So can trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit. Your team shouldn't even show up. You know, you show what up. you want to be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together. Like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position. Just know your spot. Sure, don't stop. It's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my number retired. Can't let these frauds beat us. I figured out the recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. I'm focused on my legacy. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard. On the job, you can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Yeah. Leave it beats, leave it in the street. Case on the news. Up is magic with the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror now, I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back. They like lights, camera action Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion Had to set the bar, bar try to catch me lacking Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle They try to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble Felt like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie All you, all you can yeah, we in it for life. Yeah, I've been up is magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey. How could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. I'ma treat you how you treat me. Now my problems let me let